Okay guys, um, I'm going to show you how to flash install 5.50 Gen B2, the second version, uh, using the X Gen updater tool. Um, basically, instead of having to be on 5.50 Gen B full and using the quick update tool, this you can be on any firmware and either downgrade or upgrade to 5.50 Gen um, B2. Uh, the only problem is you can only be on uh, custom firmware 4.01 or higher in order to use this. Um, so nothing lower. But other than that, it's a good way of downgrading or upgrading the quick way. And uh, yeah, so other than that, I'm going to show you how to install this, use it on your PlayStation Portable, and come out with 5.50 Gen B2 custom firmware. So without further notice, let's get to it. Alright, so here's my uh, PSP 1000. Um, Basically, uh, scroll down to your system settings and system information, and you will see that it's on 5.00 M33-6. Give me one second, I'll focus that. Yeah, there you go. Now, you don't need to be on M33-6, um, uh, 5.00, um, but like I said before, you have to be on 4.01 custom firmware or higher. So, basically, connect the USB cable to the PSP and come to the computer. Okay, so the file I'm going to have you download is right here. It's the XGen Updater XGen Pandora A5.50. There it is. Gen B2 by Yoshirio.rar. So if you don't have an extraction program, right click on it and extract the files to anywhere you choose. If you do, just double click on it and open it up. And after opening this, you will see that you have a PSP folder and a readme text inside the readme text is just there to help you then open up the PSP folder You will see a game folder and open up the game folder. You will see an update folder and inside the update folder You will see the eboot.pbp Huh, okay, so scroll or go back until you only see the update folder um, Click on my computer and Open up the removal drive for the PSP and I can get this out of here. Don't need this anymore Bam and go to PSP and then go to the regular game folder and take the update folder from the extraction program and drag and drop that in oh my fucking Christ drag and drop that into the PSP game folder now open up the update folder and you're gonna see it's about 1631 KB precise um, yeah so anyways, leave the update folder inside the PSP game folder, like so, and go to the root of the memory stick. Now another thing you're going to need to download is the 5.50 official firmware. Um, so after downloading that, I will have the link to that on the side of this video, as long as well as the um, the updater tool, and go to a um, Jesus. Anyways. Uh, the file I'm going to have you download for the official firmware is the PSP firmware 550.zip. Double click on that and open that up. And inside here, you are going to see the sce.pbp. Now, minimize that. And what you're going to do now is simply drag and drop that into the PSP memory stick. Now, you will notice that it is called sce.pbp. What you're going to want to do is rename this file as 550.pbp, just like that. Rename it like that, and that's about it. So exit the PSP, and let's see, and then come back to your PSP. All right, back at the PSP, we're going to exit USB mode like so, and I'm just going to unplug that for now. And scroll to the game memory stick, and you're going to see the PSP uh, version gen update thing, X gen installer. Start that up. <laughs> and you're going to see this pop up, so hit enter. And you're going to scroll down to the second one where it says flash install custom firmware 5.50 gen b2 so Hit that and it will start <laughs> Oh 
And as you'll see, it's loading the Sony updater now. PSP 1000 detected. Now load all modules from update. Formatting all flashes. And basically after this, after it assigns the flashes and create the directories, you'll see the percentage bar pop up. And basically just wait for that to finish. Now when that's finished, you're going to see install is complete. Welcome inside the PSP Gen custom firmware world. A shutdown or reboot is required. So hit X to reboot the system. And the system shall reboot like so. And scroll over to your system settings and scroll down to your system information and you will see that your firmware says 5.50 Gen B full. Now, let me explain this a little more. Um, on a PSP 1000, the B2 does not read for some reason. Just to let you know. But when you update B2 on a PSP 1000 like this, it is clearly, it is definitely on B2. It's just that it doesn't show up in the system settings. On a PSP 2000, it shows up just fine. It says B-2. <clears throat> so, other than that, that's about it. So that's how you flash install custom firmware 5.50 Gen B2 onto a PSP 1000 or 2000. Again, I will have the link for the XGen installer for this to download and as well as I will have the 5.50 official firmware SCE.PBP updater which you will have to rename as 550.PBP in order for the XGen installer to recognize it. Um, but that's no big deal, you just have to rename the file. Um, and make sure it has .pbp at the end or else it'll just be um, recognized as a file and you won't be able to use it. So anyways, other than that, and also um, the PSP 1000 does not show the B2, but it is on B2, so don't worry, you're on B2. Everybody's going to be like, it only says B full. Well, listen to this and you can't go wrong. God damn, I can't tell you how many times I had a message that said, is it B2 or B full? I'm like, well, if you have a PSP 1000, it's going to say B full. If you have a PSP 2000, it will say B2 at the end. So, but all in all, they are on B2. Just let you know. So don't worry. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. Uh, I hope you enjoy this firmware. If you choose to use this, other than, use this other than uh, D3, the fixed version, which I wouldn't understand why you would use this version in the first place because it's old. But just in case you want to use it, Here's a video on how to do it, or if you just want to downgrade. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message, I'll be happy to reply. Also, if you have any recommendations for any other videos, just leave a comment on my channel, and I will get back to you on that as soon as I can, and most likely I will make that video for you. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos to come, and updates clearly. And yeah, there's a Death Rain 333 update video as well. Watch that, it gives information on uh, my Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, and um, my own website that I created. So uh, yeah, other than that, take it easy guys. I'll talk to you later and enjoy 5.50 Gen B2.